So 50 Cent reacts to Chris Tucker's crazy joke about Michael Jackson bumping in the club. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub, and check this out. So on Sunday, August 20th, 50 Cent took to Instagram to share the clip, which here's Tucker share some of Michael Jackson's listening habits. Like rap, like he liked that 50 Cent song in the club. He liked the beat, so he'd be jamming to the beat. We'd be riding in the car. Michael just be jamming to the beat. He'd be like, boom, 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 boom. It's cool until he starts saying the words. That's when it sounds crazy. He's like, you see me in the club with a bottle for a bud. Michael, Michael, no, Michael, no. Don't, don't sing the words, Chris, I love that song, Chris. I love that beat, I love it, Chris. That is a cold-blooded beat, I love that beat. Of course I wouldn't go in a club with a bottle full of bud, Chris, I wouldn't do that. But I love that song, Chris. That didn't sound right, Mike. I know, but I love it. In the caption, 50 added, yo, Chris is crazy. Who didn't like that one? LOL. Back in 2019, 50 Cent's former artist, The Game, stopped by the Hip Hop DX offices and recalled a time when Michael Jackson allegedly tried to end the beef between the two rappers. The West Coast native detailed the story of MJ calling his phone to try and end the beef, describing the situation as weird as F. Before the two artists could speak, however, Game was asked to hold on the line for approximately 10 minutes. Once they were finally connected on the line, Jackson's main intention with the phone call was actually twofold. In addition to wanting to squash the issues between 50 Cent and the game, he was hoping the three of them could collaborate for a song on his upcoming album. Anyway, and he was like, you know, so I just want to get to, you know, what I, what I want to talk to you about. And, uh, and there I go making that voice that he wasn't making. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he was like, um, I think that um, you and 50 did, you know, great work and that it would be a travesty if we, the world never got to hear you guys again. And he was like, uh, is there any, you know, would you be open to like having a conversation and squashing that beef and doing a song for my album? I was like, for your album? And he was like, yeah, I want you and 50 on my album. And so we talked about it. While Game told Jackson he would think about the potential collab, he told TX that he had no intention of working with 50. I actually hated 50 and wanted to kill him at that time. And he probably had that same mutual feeling for me. That's where Mike lost me. In my head, I was not open to doing that. I felt like 50 tried to destroy me and I wasn't able to be Ja Ruled. And I hate that I got to call it that because Ja is a cool dude. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.